schoolgirls bronze medalist Sudan's Bully Alglu 5 0 in the semis. Picked her off and gave her a bit of a hiding, to be honest. She's a good fighter, tall, lean, but effective on the inside. She looked like she get up quite close and really use those long levers. See her as she walks past us there, right in front and walks up the steps. She's got that little bit of height to her, that bit of kind of whipcord strength to her too. Novinskaya, who's about to join us, is a good pressure fighter. She'll look to get on the front foot. She throws plenty. Stopped Fanny Deke of Hungary in the first round in the quarterfinals and beat Valentina Marat, who she'd beaten not that long ago, actually, in the Women's Nations Cup. She beat Marat 4-1. Close competitive fight, but she basically outworked her. It'll be interesting to see how Sebe deals with the pressure of Novinskaya. This could be very good to watch because when you look at Sebe, you would think if she's got an opponent coming towards her like Novinsky will, trying to really get on top of her, that what she should do is give herself a bit of room and use the jab. That's what her, her body shape would tell you she would be looking to do, but I'm not sure she will. I think she might look to kind of meet fire with fire here a bit, so that's why I think this one could be could be a good one to watch an intense look there from from Novin Sky and and all the Russians have won so far in the finals today we were saying that earlier about how India did that in the World Youth Championships finals and you do not want to be the first one or or the only one who doesn't win all limbs Sebe isn't she yeah all limbs long and loose absolutely but as I said for for a tall fighter she likes it up close more than you might think you do quite often see that quite often see that surprising how much a taller fighter can tend to neglect that jab and just like to get in close dig in those toes and really use that kind of leverage and she's looking to get on top of her quickly here Novin Sky throwing loads and as I say there, Sebe is looking to trade. He had a head rock back a couple of times there from Novinskaya, who has just jumped right on her from the bell. Sebe's natural instinct here is to hold that ground and trade and throw back. First 30 seconds, a very lively opening 30 seconds. And Novinskaya is looking to try and make a real statement, a real impression on the fight in this opening round and she's doing that so far because that one two is crashing through not completely clean all the time but it might ricochet off a glove here and there but she's done the better work of these two so far and Sebe who can stand stand a little bit tall and upright at times a little bit square has been knocked back onto her heels for the most part so far talk about the head being rocked back there was a vicious uppercut in the first exchange but it's that two of the one-two punch from the Russian Novinskaya that really is at the moment connecting more often than not when she throws it and again she's just bullying her back across the ring and there comes the the standing count from the referee and at the minute Sebe just doesn't really have any answer to Novinskaya she can't keep her off is the problem that she's got and as I said she she does like to trade that is what she's trying to do but she's not able to hit her with enough power to basically get the respect of Novinskaya she's just walking through what Sebe has got to offer she's not the least bit bothered about what is coming back from the Romanian not one bit and that's the problem she's got here and to be honest this is a one-sided first round and Sebe it's taken a bit of a beating in that opening two minutes. That's going to be Novin Sky's round. There'll be some 10 8s in there as well. I'm pretty sure about that as we just have a peer towards the scores on our far side. Two 10 8s, three 10 9s, and Novin Sky has just grabbed that fight right by the scruff of the neck. When they were just getting prepared for that first round, and Novin Sky was having the gloves sorted and the and the head guard puts on and she, she was in that pose of you know flexing the biceps a bit and the arms and shoulders compared to her opponent you can see why she's so much powerful and it the way that Sebe is approaching this as you mentioned she is far too close and she's not actually using her physical characteristics to aid her at all in this bout and because of that now the confidence is there for the Russian that I mean, she can throw at will and she doesn't really care if she's tagged or not because she's not going to feel it that's the problem, that's the problem. And, and, and Sebe, that, that's 
from what I saw of her in her previous two fights, that's that's how she how she does it. She is tall, she is long, she is lean, but she doesn't really use the jab. She doesn't really use that that height and reach. She likes to get up close, and it's worked for her up until this point. But in Novinskaya, she's in with somebody who's just that bit stronger. Straight left hand there from Novinskaya, just rocks back the head of of Sebe. When she throws that left hand, she just kind of tilts to the right hand side, rolls out after it sometimes, and it's just good good technique from Novinskaya, who, as we've been saying, just doesn't have the remotest shred really of respect for the for the for the power or, or lack thereof of Saba. She's she could if she wanted to just walk her down, walk through her uh, and punch at will. She's trying to be a little bit more scientific about things than that. The Russian coaches would take a dim view of that kind of approach and it's just ingrained into you to, to keep your boxing together at all times. But I'm afraid there's just nothing that Sabe can do with her, nothing at all. She is very game though, you've got to give her that. She's still trying to throw, still trying to make her mark and get herself into this fight. But it's just proving impossible for her. And in this second round, the, the Romanian is stepping away more and, and trying to establish the distance a bit more. But now that the tone has been set, if you will, Novinskaya is more than happy to, every time you step away, I'm just going to keep coming because I know I have you already on your heels and already on the back foot. Whereas if Sebia perhaps tried to do what she's done a bit more in the second round in the first, maybe, it, I mean, you don't know how things are going to go, but maybe it would have just established herself more in this fight. At no point, though, she really tried to to use the the jab. It's it's not it's not what she does. One thing you do have to bear in mind about athletes of this age is that they develop very quickly over a short space of time in in certain instances. And it could be that that Sebe has, has grown a lot over the last couple of years, and she used to be a bit shorter than this, and that's why she used to fight on the inside. And now she finds herself a lot taller suddenly, almost overnight. And I, I don't know that to be the case, but those are the kinds of things that can happen. So. 10-8s again, two 10-8s in that second round and three 10 nine. So Novin Sky is over the hills and far away here, really, in terms of who's going to, to win this fight. And of the two, when you look at them physically, and I had this with, with a couple of male fighters I saw in the semi-finals, you can see one fighter who looks still very much like a boy or a girl, if you like, and then you've got another who's just that bit more physically developed and looks more like a woman or more like a man. They've just got that that edge in, in strength and it's not like Novich Sky is ripped and bristling with, with muscles but she's just got that more kind of solid look about it. Yeah unfortunately nature takes its course at different times for everybody and that's the luck of the draw particularly when you're dealing with 15, 16 year old age categories isn't it? Absolutely, absolutely. So into the third and final round and Sebe as I said no, she's hanging in there and she's always throwing. She's always trying to make her mark and give something back. And she has had that standing count, but at no point has she really looked hurt. The referee giving that standing count really the point of those standing counts when a fighter gets hit clean, the referee will use their experience and step in and give the standing count because they think that the next one could be the one that really does some damage. And that's what you want to try and prevent. Started nice and quick at the start of the round here. Sebe's had the best opening to a round that she's had out of the three so far. And Dominic Sky maybe just taking her foot off the gas a bit in this final round, just letting those hands go. Steps off left to the body. She's got this one wrapped up. It's going to be another another gold medal for for Russia. That long left hand again. Then Dominic Sky, I think, is feeling the pace a bit here. She's thrown a lot. I was going to say, it looks a lot slower and, and it looks more effort as well, particularly that right hand. She's stepping and leaning into it a bit more to generate some of the momentum. Slightly ragged with the left there, Novin Sky. Kind of plods out with that lead right foot a little bit. She does step quite wide with that right foot when she throws. It just opens out and gives herself a bit of room. Nice one-two there from, from Sebe, who's having her best round of the three in this round. She's not doing enough to win it, don't think, but she's having her, her best round. Great footwork there as well from the Romanian, just to easily step away from a couple of punches, reset, throw a couple more herself, and then once more step away from the Russian. He does look tired, you have to say, Novinskaya. 
She does. She's thrown plenty still in this final round and got through with, with a decent amount. But I wouldn't be amazed if somebody might find something for Sebe in that final round because Novice Guy's won the fight and sometimes judges can show a little bit of sympathy towards a fighter who was, who was obviously lost but really given it their all. But good to see her have her best round in the final round there, Sebe, because that will give her some real encouragement going forward. She'll learn a lot from that, absolutely. And one thing she's definitely proved to herself in there, that on the big stage, when she was under the cosh, she didn't hide or look for a way out. She kept going. But it's a comprehensive win for Norman Sky. Sky gets in and she gets round three, clean sweep in round three as well. Two 10-8s in round three, not sure about those myself. Three 10-9s for Novin Sky. And I wouldn't question the fact that she won that final round, but Sebe, I thought, did a lot better in that final round than she did in the, in the previous two. Those are wide, wide scores. It wasn't the same golf as we had in the fight before this, particularly in that third and final round. See some of the action on screen here. And again, in that final round, Sebe did have more distance and did did keep away a little bit more. And maybe that's because the speed of the Russian was gone slightly, so she wasn't stepping in as much, and it was a bit more of an effort to throw. And the punches were more in one-two rather than a one-two-three. But yeah, still a very dominant win for Russia, who keep the gold medals coming. Once again, the ring is given a quick wipe down between bouts. And we get ready for the final of the light welterweight category, 63 kilo category, where unbelievably we don't have a Russian in the final, which is surprising this afternoon so far. That is surprising. That's not happening too many times, is it? As I look down my sheet here, in this fight and in the final heavyweight fight. final, yeah, Chinenko against Balakis, and we had one earlier on, didn't we, which was light flyweight. It's amazing the representation they've got here. 